I haven't even really looked at her yet. I just can't believe we have Sailor Cosmos. We have Sailor Cosmos. Oh my goodness. everybody and welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection. My name is Brooke. I'm your host on this channel. Huge Sailor Moon fan. As most of you guys know, I collect a lot of the Sailor Moon goods that come out worldwide now. So if you guys are into Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon collecting, or just collecting in general, this is a great time to hit that subscribe button and join our growing pack here on YouTube. It would make me really happy if you subscribed. So this video is going to be a pretty big deal mm -hmm. because we are opening up the first full-size Sailor Cosmos figure from Sailor Moon. But here's the little backstory about this particular character. In the last two acts of the Sailor Moon manga, the comic book that inspired the anime, Sailor Cosmos is revealed. She's a mysterious guardian from the distant future where she failed in defeating Chaos, the big baddie in the Star's arc. She arrived in our Usagi's timeline to see if she can change the outcome. Many of you have seen the last season of the 90s anime, Sailor Stars, and well, Sailor Cosmos is not referenced at all. We get a small scene of a silhouetted figure with a cape who resembles Sailor Cosmos, and that's it from the 90s anime. So of course it made sense that we didn't get any merchandise of Sailor Cosmos when it came to the 90s anime. The manga, however, she was featured a lot. We got a little bit of her backstory, got to see what she looked like, and a little bit of her personality. The reboot anime, Crystal Eternal and Cosmos, follows the manga story much closer than the original 90s anime. So now it makes sense that we are getting flooded. Well, I don't want to use flooded because I think we could all agree we need more, but we are getting a lot more merchandise of Sailor Cosmos since of course she was animated in the reboot series. And it's a huge deal that she's here in full figure form. The very first one, I think a lot of Sailor Moon collectors are going to grab this just because of how iconic this figure is going to be. I mean, we've already seen little bits of like stationery and acrylic stands of Sailor Cosmos. There was even a plush. And of course we did get a figure already of Sailor Cosmos, the Cuposket, but that's like in a chibi form. This new Sailor Cosmos figure is a companion figure to Eternal Sailor Moon that I have right here in front of me. So she's going to be in this type of style, almost 10 inches tall. I know I've just kind of been just blabbing, blabbing, blabbing through the first part of this video, talking about Sailor Cosmos as a character and the history surrounding her character and of course the mystery. It's just wild to me to think that in 2024 we have a Sailor Cosmos figure and I haven't even looked at her yet. We're, we're just gonna get right into it. I've got the box down here. We're gonna just move things around just a bit. I will move Eternal Sailor Moon off to the background here behind me. I do have a video unboxing her. If you guys want to watch it on my channel, please join the pack here. Watch some other videos on my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Check me out on social media, especially if you are into Sailor Moon goods because I open up a lot and we review them. We talk about them and we have a lot of fun, I promise. So I'm just gonna uh, carefully put her back here. Whoop. I promise I'm being really careful. She's not really fragile at all, so I, I feel okay kind of just, you know, picking her up and putting her back there. She's a very light figure. Go watch my review. I'm not gonna talk about her. This is all about Cosmos, babies. Here's the box. She just arrived today. Today is June 5th, by the way, for anybody who's watching and wants to know what date I got her. I'm unboxing her the day I got her. That's, that's a rarity for me. I am a little concerned. The box did come with some damage, dropped or hit or smashed. I don't know. The box inside might be damaged. I have not even opened it up yet. The box is still completely sealed. We're doing this together. I like to do these unboxings with you guys together. So it kind of feels like you're here experiencing it with me kind of like you're hanging with a friend or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> and it also makes me feel not so alone too. I did get mine from Big in Japan. We put pre-orders when they went up back in November, 2023, I believe, on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, which is the site that I run with a couple of passionate Sailor Moon fans that we try our very best to blog daily as new information and pre-orders and merchandise drops come out. So you guys are in the know. We do the uh, research and work for you. So you don't have to go searching around. We've been around the block when it comes to Sailor Moon and collecting and us three together, we have a lot of knowledge when it comes to collecting Sailor Moon and that we just like to share with you guys. So we hope that you enjoy SailorMoonFanNetwork.com and you find it helpful. My point being, we did let you guys know about all the pre-orders that were 
for this figure so you guys had plenty of time to order in fact you still should be able to order her as well because this has two different releases she has a japanese release and then she also gets an international release but i'll continue to talk a little bit more about the differences as i continue to open up this box we are going to talk and chat the entire time you can't shut me up i've had people come on to my channel who wouldn't subscribe because they say i talk too much and it's true if talking too much is an issue for you my channel might not be for you and that's okay there's a wide variety of collectors and content creators out there that you can watch instead of me but i hope you decide to stick around and stay because i promise you guys i try my very best i want you guys just to feel comfortable here <laughs> here she is right here you're gonna see it comes in an outer box like this it is specific to this particular figure these are a <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought for a second. I was trying to say that these are figures made by Bondi. They are a part of their Figure Arts Zero line. This one in particular is a Figure Arts Zero Chouette. And the title of this one is a mouthful. It's called Darkness Calls to Light. Light Summons Darkness. This is the same title of the Eternal Sailor Moon right here because these are, again, like I said, meant to go together. The title of these figures is actually a reference to the manga where Chaos tells Eternal Sailor Moon they are fated to attract one another and she ponders the meaning of it. I am very happy. It looks like this outer box helped it be protected from the busted up part on here. So shout out to Big in Japan for packing it very nicely. I don't think we're gonna have a damaged figure, at least as far as shipping goes. Everything looks intact. Back to what I was talking to you guys about when it comes to the two different releases. So in Japan, pre-orders went up uh, back in November. In Japan, this particular figure was a Tamashi web exclusive, meaning you could only get it from Tamashi Nations through their website. It's not gonna be sold at other retailers. Now that's only exclusive for this particular one. That's why it comes in this uh, extra box here. But if you wait and you get one from an international source like overseas it's going to be for retail a lot of uh retailers will carry this like hot topic entertainment earth probably box lunch as well so it'll be easier to get for you guys if you wait to buy it uh, internationally again i'll have sailor moon fan network Dot com our blog post all about this figure with as many links as we possibly can keep updated for you guys if you want to grab this figure for yourself i believe she comes out late august 2024 here for international this one released at the very last minute in may in japan mine took a few days to ship of course so that's why i got mine today on june 5th here we go we're opening up the box i'm in a slightly nervous for those who may not know oh my goodness Bondi has been getting kind of a um, bad reputation lately, especially with uh, the Sailor Moon line of figures. They've arrived broken, kind of defective, parts not looking like they should, etc. And collectors who have already got Cosmos have also reported the same thing happening with this figure, which is a bummer. I keep being optimistic and hoping that Bondi will get some better quality control why am i struggling with this she does not want to come out and i don't want to like jumble her too much just because of all the defects that i've been hearing i don't want to be the cause of something breaking in here just by trying to get her out of her brown cardboard box we're almost there guys i promise trying not to cut too much footage out so you guys like i said are just here hanging out you know um we're doing this all together oh my gosh the box is so pretty Thank you for allowing me to have that little moment. It's a little moment. Oh, oh. Just like Eternal Sailor Moon, the box is super lovely. It's gorgeous. I don't see a darn thing wrong with the box. I know a lot of people don't really care for the outer box. As a collector who appreciates the box design, especially when it has a window right here so you can like peek inside and see the figure, I really appreciate a box that's just so super mint. There's no dings in it, no defects, no stains, no bumps, dents, anything. She is beautiful. The top has a window 
window so that the light can shine through so you can see cosmos inside especially if you're a mint and box collector these are nice because you can see the figure inside it got a glossy shine on it we've got the official toei animation sticker here at the bottom we've got the tamashi nation seal at the top and then of course the logo right here which tells you that it is a tamashi web exclusive that logo right there we talked in the proplica moonstick brilliant color edition i talked a little bit more about what this logo means but this is the logo that is on merchandise that are tamashi web shop exclusives in japan beautiful on the back it just has a couple of beautiful shots i think i'm ready to open her up i'm gonna open mine up from the bottom of the box i just do that with a lot of my figures i like to keep the top nice and pristine i am a collector that keeps the boxes and i'm even going to keep the outer cardboard box so after i'm done removing cosmos from this box i'm going to put this box back in that cardboard box and store it in a tub it does have three pieces of tape that you will have to cut on the bottom to get cosmos out we're going to be very gentle here i want to uh kind of to ask you guys too who have got cosmos already how did yours arrive please share your feedback down there in the comments i love having discussions with other collectors you guys are the best here we go <clears throat> Please hope she's not damaged. That's really all I'm asking here. I don't know why I'm singing that. Please, Bondi, don't fail me. Please, 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 please. I paid a lot of money for her. And that's another thing. She is not cheap. This figure retails over $100, uh, depending on where you order her from. You can still pre-order her right now from like USA Amazon, which I think last time I checked was like $110, which I think is the cheapest as far as the pre-orders go. At the moment, uh, I know Entertainment Earth, I think was asking $119. So so these figures are pricey. That's another big reason why I'm hoping that she is okay. It's awful when you pay so much for a figure and it doesn't come up to the quality that you guys know Bondi used to be known for, I guess. Okay, here we go. This is how she comes packed. Am I seeing any defects so far? Don't let anything come broken. I think I kind of see a paint chip. We'll talk a little bit more about that as I get her out of the box. This is how she comes. Oh! Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna set her up like that. We're not gonna try to break her. <gasps> Wouldn't that be something if she just collapsed, snapped right there on camera? I would always forever be known as the collector who did that and broke cosmos on camera i'm already known as the collector who destroyed a sume art figure i don't need to be known to be destroying another i think i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the whole dang thing i mean that's how she just comes out just like that we've got a lot of plastic at the bottom here it looks like there are a lot of pieces of hair and ribbons her front ribbons i'm pretty sure i remember somebody's finding the front ribbons broken be very careful removing this figure if she's not already broken outside of the box i can see those snapping be super careful careful with it. I'm just sliding the plastic wrap which is just preventing her long hair pieces and her front ribbons from hitting the crystal base down there. It's also kind of wrapped around the top part of her hair. Just exercise extreme caution collectors and Sailor Moon fans. What is this situation going on up here on her wand on the top of her stuff? They taped it? It's taped. How are you supposed to remove that carefully? I don't think they should have taped this. It's just too sticky, you know? You don't want to accidentally tug too hard because you do have to kind of pull and I don't know how fragile that is. Oh, I guess let's just go slow. Let's just go slow, you know? Go with the flow, go slow. Oh my gosh, they poked a hole through it? Okay, okay. Bondi. And it's still wrapped around. We did it! We did it! Yay! Be very careful around this. They did put tape around it, which made it extra difficult to remove. I mean, this is a fragile piece. I don't think that was necessary at all. Oh my god, she's beautiful.
I'm just gonna kind of move her just out of the way so I don't hit her. I like to get my box out of the way to film the rest of the video without the inner plastic pieces boxes. Flimsy. Question for you collectors out there. Are you also a collector that keeps the boxes or do you recycle them and, or get rid of them? I just love to collect the boxes. I think they're beautiful. I think they add something. Bring this beautiful babe back. I'm studying her. This is what I do whenever I get a new figure, especially one that I have spent a lot of money on. I just kind of study her, see what I think of her overall. <sighs> she had a little a bit of a black little piece of dust down by her white pumps. I just blew on it and it flew away. I literally looked her over really good. I don't see anything major wrong with her. I do see a few things that are kind of questionable. It does have some weird seams, especially when it comes to the hair. I know the hair is all over the place, but they're really not too bad. When you think about the scale of this figure, and here's my fingernails to show you guys just how tiny this figure is, I don't think it's that bad. I definitely would love to see quality improve with Bondi, but honestly, I'm not too upset about these small, tiny imperfections. Overall, she's absolutely stunning. I'm showing you guys some different sides. She can be displayed from a lot of different angles. We talked a little bit about her size. She is almost 10 inches tall, so she's not very big. When you look at some of the smaller details, like the tippity top of her staff here, it is painted nicely. Oh, and be mindful of this area. I don't like it at all. I'm afraid these could break. Other than that, she looks great. Like her face, freaking amazing. I mean, her, her head is so small. And when you think about it, how they uh, printed on those very detailed eyes and her little tiny mouth, the paint on her earrings, and just, I don't know, all the details, the rainbow part of her front skirt, everything looks great. Nothing arrived broken on mine, thankfully. And I hope you guys out there have the same luck because I don't want to see the majority of these broken, defective, and have issues because that's bad. That's bad when that happens. I want to see everybody get the figure they deserve especially for something so epic as sailor cosmos i'm very happy with her that we have her she's really beautiful i want to get her out with eternal sailor moon how many of you guys got eternal sailor moon I just feel like, you know, something crazy would happen when these come together, but really nothing happened. It was just me just smiling and being happy. They look amazing together! We gotta talk about this cape. It has a completely different feel. It's a different type of plastic. It's translucent, as you guys can see. Uh, slightly translucent with a little bit of darker shading when it comes up close to her sailor collar. It's kind of got a matte feel to it. It's totally different than the other parts of the figure. The crystals are hollow, which are kind of neat. The base are pretty similar. Look at these two gals. Can you guys believe it? We have a Sailor Cosmos figure and I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I have not been buying a lot of the Cosmos merch. I even skipped out on the cute Posquette and I think I have regrets because I feel like Cosmos is one of those characters that obviously doesn't get a lot of merchandise and I kind of feel like I need the cute Posquette. Let me know if you guys agree. Do I need to go hunt her down? Because I think I might need her after seeing this. This one was definitely a must buy for me and I guess we can go ahead and talk about if it's gonna be a must buy for you guys. There is a risk when buying these expensive Bondi figures um, in today's times. The quality isn't up to par. A lot of collectors report problems. So I want to be transparent about that. And I really dislike saying anything bad about a company that gives me so much Sailor Moon merchandise and makes my, my heart happy. But it's just one of those things that it's good to know if you guys are going into this, you know, maybe you saved up a long time and you're like, I'm going to finally spend $120 on Sailor Cosmos. Just keep that in mind. I always like to tell people if it's too big of a risk for you wait for the international one because a lot of international companies if you buy from them like hot topic box lunch big bad toy store amazon even entertainment earth those places will make sure to offer you a replacement or a refund if you're not happy with yours so the risk is lower you just might have to do a little work in returning it the pre-orders should still be going on i'll have a link down below to our sailor moon fan network blog if you guys want to grab her for yourself she's really nice how did a cat hair get on her already life with cats life with cats i love her i think i'm one of the lucky ones that didn't have anything wrong with either of mine other than minimal stuff these are mass produced so you're gonna have a little bit of paint defects here and there very very minimally overall like the grading on these are, is pretty darn good i would say they're both in the a range 
not much is going on as far as damage or defects everything looks beautiful i love them i don't regret buying them mine turned out okay let me know how your guys's turned out maybe you're still waiting on the international pre-order which comes out later this year it's just really beautiful that's our first cosmos figure and i know we don't have the final two movies yet but i'm pretty sure those are on the way the irony that i was filming this a day before netflix announced sailor moon cosmos is coming to their platform this august 2024 we don't have the complete details yet but it sounds like it's going to be the same release as they did the eternal movies stay up to date on the latest news surrounding this netflix release through our blog on sailormoonfannetwork.com i think all sailor moon fans uh, need the first full size Sailor Cosmos figure. She's gorgeous. She's very iconic to the Sailor Moon franchise. She's such a beautiful character, such a mysterious character. I think both of these together are going to be pieces that a lot of Sailor Moon fans should own. It is a good memorabilia as well. You know, one day when Sailor Moon is over again, we'll all remember the times by looking at these figures, how we got a reboot of Sailor Moon and Sailor Cosmos was finally animated. And we're just like, this is great. This is great. We're living the life right now as a Sailor Moon fan. That is it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, watching a couple minutes, or maybe even you watched the whole thing. I appreciate the views, the support, the comments, the likes, the shares, all the above thank you guys so much that is three ways for you guys to support my channel and it does not go unnoticed you guys are the absolute best have a good one have a fun day weekend night weekday whatever time of the week or day it is for you guys i want you guys to have a great rest of your day and catch me on social media i'm out there pumping out lots of short form content just to kind of keep up with the algorithms and also make sure i'm creating content for everything that i buy just to show you guys what i'm up to 